These days, I'm more than happy to mix a record entirely in the box, thanks to Harrison Mixbus. But sometimes I just want to add a little bit of flavour from a very specific piece of hardware, be that a guitar pedal, a vintage reverb rack, or some 500 series modules. And it's one of these 500 series modules that I want to add to my mix today. So how do I go about doing that? Well, let's find out. I've got a track set up in Harrison Mixbus 6. Let's have a quick listen. Okay, I want to add some listen mic compressor from my 500 series rack to the overheads. Now to do that, what I want to do is right click over here and say new insert. I'm just going to put it there just before the fader. And if I click it, it brings up a window. We have sends output and returns input. So in the sends tab, we want to choose where we're sending the signal from. Um, and I'm going to send it out of hardware output number seven on my interface because that's connected to my module. And it's going back on uh, input number seven. So I want to click hardware input number seven. And as we um, now play back, you should see that the signal is going through my external hardware. So I'll really crank it. Okay, and if I bypass that, so you can hear the difference. Now you might be saying, well, isn't there a latency involved? Yes, there is a latency involved, and we can address that simply by going to the bottom of this window and clicking measure latency. And in this case, it's 12.937 milliseconds. It's detected it, it's accommodated for that, and we're all back in phase and in sync. And that's how you use external hardware in a mix in Harrison Mixbus. Now remember, this is not being printed, so it's important to remember to use the real-time function when exporting your mix.